so for people that don't know, how do you, what's your quick pitch for what True False is? Uh, True False is a festival that celebrates all that is new in nonfiction film, but it's not just film anymore. Uh, we have live music. There's live music on stage before every single screening. And we're also building a sort of like, uh, what we call site sympathetic, that's okay. a fancy word for you, uh, art installations all around the footprint of the festival. Yeah. So we have visual arts, we have music, we have film, one kind of extended weekend, now it's kind of bursting to four days uh, up in Columbia Mo. And it's the first weekend of March. That's right. Yeah, and it's, uh, I, I've gone to it for several, several years, and I feel like I'm an evangelist for it. I'm always like, do you guys know this is here? We, we, we rely on that. We need, we need you to out there kind of, you know. Well, it's certainly grown in that time. I'm not, not saying I did it. But no, it's all you. It's all you. <laughs> it's definitely, definitely grown so much in that time. And what I love about it, I don't know if this is the feedback that you get, is the, um, I can describe to people that there are great films, but what I have a hard time really encapsulating is just like the culture of it, that it's fun and weird and like you interact with people like in a, in a way that you don't often Otherwise, yes. Right. Yeah. It it builds a real micro community. I mean, yeah. I mean, we love that Columbia gets super into it, but the festival itself is its own community, and every director's there. Um, mm -hmm. So there's a Q and A after every single screening, but it also builds just this vibe, right? That's like you know, you stand in line, and someone in front of you turns to you and says, "Hey, what have you seen?" And you start talking, and you know, and that person could be, you know, someone from your hometown. It could mm -hmm. be someone from New York or LA. It could be a director themselves. Um, it really just depends. And so there's that whole feeling of people who are getting together, which, which I have to say is crazy, because when we started the fest, people were like, like we started the fest and literally like year one, we went to like the Convention and Visitors Bureau, right? And yeah. they're like, we want to do a film festival. And they're like, great, we need a film festival. And we're like, we want to do a documentary film festival. And they're like, Ooh. but there'll be actors too. And we're like, well, <laughs> not so many actors really, you know? And, uh, and, and people, it took a little while for people to kind of get into it. But now, like Columbia is this like crazy documentary like hub, and you know, yeah. and, and directors come and they're always freaked out, right? Because like they'll be walking down the street and someone will be like, "Oh my gosh, I love your work," you know. But have you seen this Iranian film? Because it's really similar to yours. And they're like, "Where am I? You know, who, who what am I doing?" Um, so it's great. We, it really has built a very, very cool community of people who love nonfiction films, who love what they can tell us about the world, the way they take us to other places, the way us, yeah. the way they drop us into other people's lives. Um, we're a festival that really celebrates craft. You know, yeah. we talk about, we're not topic driven. We don't program films because we're like, this is, this is really important and you should know about this topic. Um, we look for great movies. Yeah. And we think great movies, all great movies, whether they're fiction or nonfiction or whatever, have kind of the same things in common, right? They tell great stories, they have great characters, uh, they have lots of explosions, so that's you know, what we're looking <laughs> for. Jerry Bruckheimer, documentary. That's right, that's right.